Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, it's about the time of the year for all the family gathering and holiday parties. I'm sure there are times when someone is allergic to alcohol, mm, avoiding alcoholic drinks, or simply just the kids who wants to get a sip. Well, these nice looking and delicious mock chows that we are going to make in this video will be the perfect solution. Just because that there is no alcohol inside the beverage, it does not mean that it will be boring. If you like the video, please don't forget to click like or subscribe to our channel for more home bar ideas and homemade fancy drinks. Well, before we get into the mixing, here are a few tips that can quickly help you understand the common ingredients for a great mocktail. A mocktail is basically a non-alcohol mix of different flavors and drinks. We do want a drink that has a slightly complex and interesting taste profile instead of one that simply tastes like a fruit juice with a given fancy name. The typical base of a mocktail are bubbly mixers such as soda water and other carbonated drinks, milk, fruit juice, and others. Lemon lime soda and ginger ale are also great additions. Syrups are an important sweetener for a mocktail and they create a delicious taste for the drink on top of the base. If you're interested in making high-end mocktails, maybe consider purchasing a few fancy syrups, such as floral syrups or herbal syrups. Other flavoring ingredients include herbs such as rosemary or mint, citrus types such as zest or orange peel, spice such as cinnamon, and also tea, coffee, etc. On top of that, the non-alcoholic bitters are great options for additional complexity as well. If a mocktail mimics a classic cocktail, sometimes the recipe is more than just skipping the alcohol. There are a few tricks that would actually help the drink taste like alcohol. Believe it or not, adding a few dashes of caper juice or pickle juice can help give the mocktail the alcoholic taste making the mocktail to taste like a real cocktail instead of simply a glass of fruit juice. Well, hopefully understanding these will be helpful for you to create your own freeform mocktail. Mojito is one of the most classic cocktails in the bar. In fact, making a version mojito is easy. Simply leave out the rum and mix the rest of ingredients mint, lime juice, sugar, and soda water. In a highball glass, add 4 lime wedges. Add 7 to 8 mint leaves. Gently model to get the fresh flavor. Add 2 teaspoons of sugar. Squeeze in 1 ounce of fresh lime juice, about half of lime. Slightly stir to mix. Fill the glass with ice. Top with soda water and mix well. Garnish with a mint sprig and a lime wedge. A virgin cosmopolitan not only has a good looking appearance, but it also tastes fantastic with the combination of cranberry juice, lime juice, and sparkling water with optional orange juice. Rub the rim of the martini glass with a lime slice. Carefully dip the rim into sugar with lime zest to create the sugar zest rim. In 
the shaker, add two ounce of cranberry juice. Add one ounce of lime juice. Add one ounce of orange juice. This is optional. Add two ounce of sparkling water. Add ice. Gently shake to mix or stir to mix well. If the ingredients are shaken, be careful not to shake too hard as the gas from the sparkling water might make your shaker pop. Strain the mixed liquid into the martini glass. Garnish with a lime wedge. A tasty non-alcoholic margarita is made with fresh lime, lemon, and orange juice with agave nectar and soda water. Adding a dash of optional pickle juice will oddly give it a taste of tequila. Rub the rim of a margarita glass or coupe glass with a lime slice. Gently dip the rim into the salt to create a margarita salt rim. In the shaker, add 1.5 ounce of lime juice, about one and a half of lime. Add one ounce of lemon juice, about half of a lemon. Add one ounce of orange juice. Add 1.5 ounce of agave syrup. Add ice. Shake to mix well. Drain the mixed liquid into the glass. Top with soda water. Garnish with a lime wheel. Besides the non-alcoholic version of some signature cocktails, Shirley Temple is one of the most popular and well-known mocktails in the bar. It is simply the mix of grenadine syrup, ginger ale, and lemon-lime soda. With a highball glass or a glass you prefer, fill the glass with ice. Add 1 ounce of grenadine syrup. Fill the rest of glass with equal parts of ginger ale and lemon lime soda. Gently mix the drink to give a nice color transition. Garnish with a maraschino cherry. Just 
like the tequila sunrise. This nice looking fruit punch gets its sunrise look from orange juice, a splash of grenadine syrup, and soda water. In a highball glass, fill the glass with ice. Add orange juice to about 60 to 70 percent. Carefully add about 0.5 to 0.75 ounce of grenadine syrup along the edge of the glass to create a pretty sunrise look. Add in a few slices of lime and lemon in the drink. Be careful not to disturb the grenadine syrup in the bottom. Top with soda water. The romantic velvet pink not only has a beautiful and attractive presentation, it also tastes extremely delicious with the combination of milk, grenadine syrup, and a floral syrup such as rose or cherry blossom syrup. Use a brush to rub the rim of a champagne flute with simple syrup. Carefully dip the upper rim of the flute into sugar to create a sugar rim. In the shaker, add 1 ounce of floral syrup. In this case, I use a cherry blossom syrup. Add 0.5 to 0.75 ounce of grenadine syrup. Add 6 ounce of milk. Add ice. Shake vigorously to mix well, about 30 to 40 seconds. Strain the mixed liquid into the champagne flute. Look at this beautiful pink color with a layer of milk foam on top. Garnish with some rose petals. Thank you everyone for watching with all the different cocktails and mocktails. Now we get a drink for everybody in the party. Have fun in your holiday gatherings.